Hello and welcome. I'm Chelsea Staffed and this is the Chelsea News and Transfer News Update with me on the channel. This video is about the latest Chelsea news, stories, rumours, speculation that's caught my eye the last 12 to 24 hours, bringing it to you to discuss in detail, one-on-one. -on -one. I'm just my own person. I'm not backed by anybody. I do this independently in addition to working full-time. Thank you so much for you guys that have already subscribed, that enjoy the content. Hopefully you guys will. Today we're going to feature the build-up to Liverpool. We're going to feature two players that have had a lot of criticism in the last couple of days. One player which Frank Lampard is absolutely raving about in training. But for now, let's get cracking. So guys, if we're talking about players that have been you know, under scrutiny, players that are getting so much stick at the moment, you can think of two, especially in the last week or so. Kepa, Ruben Loftus-Cheek. More on Loftus-Cheek in just a bit, but Kepa's been getting all sorts of stick, left, right and centre. Yes, he should have done better with the goal he conceded. He did make a good save in the game against Brighton. He did look confident when he came out and claimed the ball. I wish he'd just do it a little bit more from corners, but the whole defence looks shaky, When let's be honest, when we're looking at corners. But Kepa's received some, some praise and being backed by Rob Green, the ex-Chelsea third-choice goalkeeper, who we all witnessed the hilarious video after the Europa League where Rob Green was there celebrating the fact that he was a legend. If you hadn't seen it, just search for it on YouTube. It's brilliant. But Rob Green's been talking on Sky today on their football show and he's back in Kepa and he said this. He said, I believe in Kepa's ability. I believe he's got what it takes to be a top-class goalkeeper. He's a brilliant guy and both emotionally and mentally, he had to settle into playing in England on his own at a young age. It's a big ask and there are periods as a goalkeeper when you spend a lot of time on your own. As a young man, he spends a lot of time in London on his own and away from his family. So when things go get tough, it eats away at him. Last season, we saw Frank Lampard pull him out of the team at times and then brought him back. He had a man of the match performance against Man United in the FA Cup. And that's what he can do, as he did in his first season at times for Chelsea. Of course, when Rob Green was there. You hope he can get back to that level, but it was such a high price tag they paid. He's always going to get criticism, but that wasn't his fault. The problem with Kepa is that it's, the, it's too many mistakes, it's too many goals conceded, but you have to look at the whole defence, not just the goalkeeper, but goalkeepers are paid to stop goals from going in the back of the net. They can have a great game and make 18 saves in the game. They concede the one goal and they get hammered for it. That's just the, the nature of the beast when it comes to goalkeeping. The biggest issue is what we saw on Monday, the stat that was put up by Sky, stating that he'd conceded the most goals from outside the box since the start of the season in 2018-19. So for two seasons to this point, including Monday, he conceded 19 goals from outside his own box, which isn't good. I think that, I mean, Frank Lampard came out afterwards and he said about Kepa, he said he was happy with Kepa and he's our keeper and he's here. At the time, Gary Neville and, and Jamie Carragher said didn't really believe it. He had to come out and say it publicly. But, I mean, Petr Cech has come out as well in the summer and spoke of Kepa. About they're going to back him. Eduard Mendy is due to come in whenever that's going to be. And when he does come in, it's going to be competition for places. He's not coming in as the out-and-out -out number one. I mean, we say that. We have to wait and see what Frank Lampard decides if Mendy comes in and when he's actually match fit and available. But I think we just need to give Kepa a little bit of slack. He's made mistakes. There's been issues with, obviously, temperament, with not going off in the uh, final against Man City, which annoyed a lot of people. There's the fact that he got dropped a couple of times by Frank Lampard last year, but he keeps bouncing back. And to have the mentality to bounce back and go again to work hard, you see the clips of him in training. He works hard, just as hard as anybody else. Just needs a little bit of luck, and hopefully he'll get that this season and he'll begin to gain confidence and make more and more saves. God knows what's going to happen, but we just hope he turns it round. But Rob Green thinks he probably would. So to Ruben Loftus-Cheek, who didn't have a good game on Monday against Brighton. And 
I think it's safe to say he was getting hammered by some of the Chelsea fans on social media. He got heavily criticised by Gary Neville and Jamie Carragher after the game, with Gary Neville basically saying that if he doesn't put his finger out, he could be sold for £25 million. Jamie Carragher coming out and saying he's had his chances, how many more does he want? It was just heavy, heavy criticism for the opening day of the Premier League season. And we have to remember the type of injury he had. Frank Lampard today in his press conference, pre-match at a Liverpool, spoke of the, the criticism he was getting. He was asked about it. And Frank said this. He said, I know Ruben's story probably second best to how he does. Ruben had a terrible injury, an injury that he worked very hard to come back from. He was just about to start playing under 23 games when the lockdown came in. And then he worked incredibly hard to restart and got a start against Aston Villa. He was due to start against Bayern in the last game of the season, but had a bit of an issue the day of the game. After that, he's trained brilliantly again to get fit for the start of the season. And I think if there is harsh criticism of him in the game against Brighton, then it is certainly very harsh. Because to come back from injury like he has, it's been difficult for him. He's, had, he's put a lot of hours into it. He's a hugely talented player and a great lad. So there'll be lots more to come from Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Unfortunately, it's the nature of the game. It's very reactionary and people will say it as they see it. But knowing Ruben's story behind the scenes, he's fought back really hard to get back to where he is. And he's a very, very talented player. Now, see, I agree with that. I think every single one of us that has followed Ruben Loftus-Cheek's path and his career and have seen him at times at Chelsea, when he's fully fit and he's playing with a bit of confidence, he just flows. He glides across that pitch. His skill is undoubted. His ability is undoubted. He can create, craft, score goals. He's got a fantastic touch. Very technically gifted. And he just needs a run of games to get his confidence back. Of course, there's going to be maybe the mental side of, of things on his mind what, with his injury. Is it going to go again to exert himself? He'll get past that. Players of, of that age that have that much of a serious injury need time to, to get past that, and he will. So I just think that it was wrong for... First of all, it was wrong for the Chelsea fans to hammer Loftus cheek the way they did. And then obviously Gary Neville and, and Jamie Carragher <clears throat> wasn't exactly complimentary. Let's hope that in a couple of weeks' time, a couple of months' time, it's completely flipped and reversed with people praising Loftus-Cheek for the player that he is. So we've had team news from Frank Lampard, which I'll go into in a minute. Ahead of Liverpool. Can't stand Liverpool. I hope we smash them. One player that is missing is going to be Hakim Ziyech. And Frank Lampard has been talking to Rio Ferdinand. Now, Rio Ferdinand's got his own YouTube channel, which I'm sure you're all aware of. And he said, first thing that, that he said, his passing is ridiculous. Lampard said, I'm looking to see them passes when he cuts in with his left foot. And as the likes of Mason Mount, Timo Werner, Kai Havertz, etc. All making runs. And I think Zayech will be putting it on the plate for these boys. I mean, we are all looking forward to Zayech getting back fully fit and getting amongst it and involved in the Premier League. He's going to take the Premier League by storm. He's probably been overshadowed, you have to say, with the signings of Werner and Kai Havertz. But this guy will make his mark, trust me, this season. So to the Liverpool game and Frank Lampard's press conference today. And four players are confirmed out. It's the same four that miss Brighton. Ben Chilwell, Hakim Ziyech, Thiago Silva and Christian Pulisic will all miss the game. With Pulisic and Chilwell not quite ready and Thiago Silva needing some extra time to get match fit before he's involved. We've seen over the last couple of days, Jurgen Klopp and Frank Lampard have both played down the rivalry from their argument that appeared on the sidelines. There's going to be more of a build-up on my channel um, over the weekend as we look forward to playing Liverpool, especially with the preview on Sunday that will be coming out. It's just a game that we... we we have to win. We have to close the gap. That's the thing. We close the the goal this season is not to win the title. We've got to be realistic. We just want to close the gap to Liverpool. And even though it's the second game of the season, Sunday will be sort of like the benchmark game. We saw how sloppy Liverpool were defending against Leeds last weekend. Chelsea can expose them. Just need to click at times. It didn't really click on Monday. 
up front, but that's because there's new players trying to gel and get used to each other. We're a week further on, we should see improvement, and I think we can really take the game to Liverpool. And I just I can't stand Liverpool. I just, oh, I just can't. And I just really hope we get the job done. So look out for more from the channel over the weekend on the game against Liverpool. So that's it for me, guys. It's Friday the 18th of September. Different kind of video where I'm just talking to you guys one-on-one -on -one rather than show you the articles. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, smash the like button for me. Then subscribe to the channel. But make sure you hit that bell for notifications to notify my videos come out, which is pretty much daily. Thank you for your support. Thanks for those of you that have subscribed already. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button for me. And don't forget, post your comments below for anything that's discussed in the video. Have a cracking Friday. See you all tomorrow.